The big story this morning in the northwest province is we are aware that President Cyril Ramaphosa has actually cut short his UK trip to go to the northwest province at midday today, accompanied by Ace Mahashule as the SG of the ANC and the Deputy SG at Jesse Duarte. The President is also expected to address an Asian meeting convened with the structures of the ANC right now. More communities in Mahikeng Northwest have actually joined um, the, the violent protests calling for the resignation of Premier Supramahuma Bilo. Police are still monitoring the situation. But for more on this, let us now cross live to our reporter uh, in Mahikeng, Selwani Khakhau. Selwani, a very, very good morning to you. Talk to us about the situation currently and take us back to last night because there are also reports coming through indicating that uh, uh, Mabana Cultural Center was on fire. <coughs> Well, good morning, Palisa. I can tell you that uh, it's relatively quiet on the roads this morning. We could actually see cars moving around this morning. Perhaps people are making their way to work. The only thing uh, at the moment is that the roads are still barricaded. Um, but uh, yes, you're right. Um, Mama Anna yesterday was partially burned. It's just a small portion of it that was burned. We spoke to uh, the police uh, communication spokesperson um, who told us that only a small portion of Mabana was burned yesterday. But this morning, the roads are relatively um, uh, blockaded, but people are moving, they're going to work. And as you would know, that the strike uh, was actually sparked by people being unhappy with the fact that clinics uh, have been closed for more than a month right now, and people have been unable to receive their medication. So it's one of the issues really that um, sparked the protest that we saw in the last two days. So we're going to speak to the um, spokesperson of the Department of Health, Debo Holikhetwani, who will just uh, give us more details about what is currently happening in the department. First of all, Mr. Lekhetwani, can you tell us what impact does the strike of Neha we have in the in the in the health department? Well, the impact is huge. Uh, we can't deny that. Uh, I think everybody can see that. We are just from uh, Unit 9 clinic. You saw for yourself that uh, it is closed. But you also saw that uh, it's largely because of the chaos that erupted yesterday in front of the clinic. Uh, a lot of roads going to the clinic are closed, uh, barricaded, highly barricaded. It was, there was no way anybody could go to the clinic, even the, the nurses, uh, based on the situation that we saw yesterday, it was impossible for any nurse to go to a clinic. Now we know that uh, there are a lot of other clinics uh, around Mafiking that are affected, and uh, as a result, a lot of our patients ended up going to the provincial hospital Mafiking, but uh, it's also unfortunate because now it meant that they, there was overcrowding. There has been overcrowding at uh, Mafikeng Provincial Hospital. What we have done is to tell to the doctors to assess all the patients, to make sure that patients who are stable um, are released to go home, are discharged to go home. But uh, ensuring that we then, the, the, the patients who are critical, uh, are then uh, admitted or th there is space enough for patients who are critical. The effect has already also been on the side of availability of medication. As we know that uh, it has been difficult to, to, to get the drugs to deliver medication to the depot and to dispatch it to the clinic. So what we have done, the department has interacted with national to, to request that we have direct deliveries. I can confirm to you that uh, some of our clinics have already been given a go-ahead to contact suppliers directly so that they source medication directly from the suppliers. This is happening across the province. But we are also hoping, because there has been discussions with the SANDF military health services to, to come and assist in the province, the, the discussions uh, have been ongoing as of yesterday. We hear that there were some some of the attacks were seen yesterday, but we still do not have uh, official confirmation as yet. Okay, but I mean, at the core of this, people that are really being um, inconvenienced or feeling the impact of this are innocent people, as particularly those ones who are on chronic medication and have been unable to receive their medication. Those who are taking ARVs, diabetes, and uh, 
TB patients, is there any plan, perhaps intervention? I know you just mentioned that um, clinics have made arrangements with the, the, the National Department, but urgent intervention really? No, uh, we need to understand that it's not entirely true that uh, there is no med medication altogether. We have been saying that there is medication, but the supplies are very low. That is why we then say that uh, patients need to agree with us that we only give them the supplies for a month so that when the situation stabilizes, we then go back to the normal three-month supplies. But uh, as I've already said, we, we now believe that uh, with the current in, in, in arrangement where we are able to uh, source medication uh, supplies directly from the suppliers, that should assist us to be able to replenish before the medications runs out completely. Okay, and then also there is a report recently by Stock Out, Stop Stock Out project which says that 394 clinics across the province are unable to provide essential services and we know this for a fact in Mafikeng that really it is a challenge. Any plans on that? The challenge has been primarily access to the clinics. Yes, we accept that uh, a number of items have been out of stock uh, and that is why there were arrangements that, uh, that we've been making arrangements that uh, those direct supplies are speeded to ensure that we replenish uh, where we do not have some of the items. As you know that also some of the challenges that we have been having continually even outside before we have this uh, unrest that uh, sometimes we do not necessarily have all the items that we need from the suppliers because internationally suppliers tend to run out of uh, some of the items. But we believe that uh, with the current arrangement the situation should stabilize. Okay, the last last question. Um, Nahau, it's Nahau members who are on strike, but it's also the employees of health who are on strike at the same time. Should a disaster happen, perhaps lives be lost, who should be accountable? Should the Department of Health be held accountable for that? Well, the, the department has never run away out of uh, taking responsibility. That is why the department has uh, been engaging with all the stakeholders, including Nahau, to ensure that the, the strike uh, come to the end. Well, thank you very much. That was the spokesperson of the Department of Health in the Northwest, Tebukhole Khetwani, telling us uh, how the Department of Health are trying to assist with uh, bringing things back to normality. You would remember that I did point out that clinics are still closed. They've been closed for more than a month right now. And we've also been seeing some chaos at um, some hospitals where there is go slow and patients are not being treated. The only cases that are being attended to are cases of emergency. We also want to speak to Nehawu a little bit later on to hear their side on this impact of the strike. Back to you, Palisa. All right, Silvani, just before I let you go quickly, we know that shops were looted yesterday. Have there been um, any arrests made? And also there were reports that uh, this violence had spread to other areas in the province, including your Volmaran start. Talk to us about those two issues quickly. Yes, indeed, shops were looted yesterday. We spoke to the police uh, yesterday. They told us that the day before yesterday, they managed to arrest nine people for public violence. But yesterday, there were no arrests that were made as far as we understand. And yes, we've also been getting some reports that um, these um, protests have spread to other areas of the northwest, like Volmaranstadt, as you mentioned. We also saw the same protests in various villages in and around the area of Mafikeng, where people were really saying that um, they cannot allow what is happening at the Department of Health to continue and that they want the Premier of the Northwest to step down. All right, Selwane, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much there to our reporter, Selwane Khakhaw, live from Mahikeng. This, of course, is a developing story that we're keeping a very close eye on here on Morning Live. We're taking a quick break here on the show when you come back here, News at 7.